Hi, I'm Yuri, and we've always played video games, even before the creation of agriculture. Chess and checkers are examples that were used for distraction. However, with the creation of a new way of playing them through electronically manipulated images, it has completely changed how people see and understand these entertainment-based games. And ever since, the gaming industry has grown in an exponential way. It's common knowledge that video games provide a fun and an efficient way of escaping from reality, therefore being one of the main sources of entertainment nowadays, surpassing even the Hollywood productions. And exactly because of this, I'm going to be explaining some topics related to the evolution of the gaming industry, and therefore explain and answer you guys some consequences related to this theme. First of all, it's important for us to understand the beginning of everything and how the first console changed the perspective of people. The first console ever created was a Magnavox Odyssey by Rolf Baer in 1972. The equipment, however, didn't provide sounds nor colors, besides only being able to be played in one specific type of televisions, the Magnavox ones. And that's why you might ask me, why was it so important for the gaming industry, since it didn't provide good resources for the players? And I answer you that Bear's idea was just revolutionary, since the only way for people to enjoy video games in that time was by, taking a, was by taking a journey to a local arcade. And that wasn't always a simple task. Further on, on the late 70s and the beginning of the 80s, a period known as the Arcade Golden Age was established in several countries. This period was mainly known because of two games I'm sure you all know about, Pac-Man and Space Invaders. Both games were Japanese design projects, and the objective of them was to score higher points by eliminating a specific type of aliens or ghosts. Both projects became extremely addictive and popular because players always wanted to achieve higher scores and establish new records. Besides this, the difficulty that increased in each level made the games even more enjoyable. This success can be proved in the economical return it provided, where according to studies, the total revenue for the arcade video games in the US was above $7 billion, and this sector accounted for more than 85% of the $8.9 billion of commercial game sales. And finally, to, to, to conclude some memorable aspects of the gaming history, I'm mentioning Atari, the company responsible for dominating the end of the 70s and the 80s because of their advanced and successful consoles. The first and one of the most famous games created by the group was Pong. The game consisted in a tennis battle in which two players controlled vertical balls, bars to hit a ball and making your opponent lose. It's visible that if compared to nowadays, the game wouldn't be one most people would buy, but for those in 1975, the, the activity was just spectacular. However, there was one slight problem. The game was still an arcade machine, and because the creators of the Atari always searched for innovation, they decided to create a console where people would be able to play the game at their homes. So in the Christmas of the same year, 1975, the project was released. And I don't even need to mention it was a total success, selling more than 150,000 units only in that holiday period. So everything I've been stating uh, resulting, resulted in nothing more than evolutions and consequences. And I'm talking about how it completely modified the job market, giving more opportunity to people. Gaming designers, for example, in countries such as Brazil, had an increase of more than 165%. Besides, the pro player's career, career also became way more visible, providing tons of money not only for economy, but also for the players. The average salary of someone attending this career can vary from 20 to $60,000 annually, but this can change according to the game played, skill involved, the amount of major tournaments won, and also the amount of sponsors. We're reaching an end, and to summarize everything I have been stating, the video game industry is something that has revolutionized how people see this type of entertainment, providing a better and efficient and a pleasant way for them to escape from reality, as well as the economic return it has provided for many people. And because of this, the gaming industry will continue to grow, benefiting even more people in the future, and with creations of things such as virtual reality metaverses and games where earning money will be as easy as riding your bike, this segment will continue to evolve even faster. Therefore, if compared to the past, 
where the only way for people to enjoy electronic games was by, take, was by taking a journey to a local arcade, they wouldn't imagine how useful and important it has become in million different lives, providing unforgettable and unique experiences for each one of them. Thank you very much.